moving on to companies trying new things. First Delivery, a Nigerian delivery startup, has launched something that I think is bold and interesting. Jim Gosling, fill us in on that. Yep. So, First has launched Safe Lockers. So, it's a... It's almost like... I think you called it, um, is it private PO boxes? Yes. I mean, PO box. Sure, it's private... Okay, post office box, are we? Yes, private post office yeah. box. Yeah. Anyway... Um, what first, um, first safe lockers do is so I have a package I need to get delivered. I go to the nearest, um, I go to the nearest safe locker, which you can you can find when you download an app. Um, you put your parcel, and then someone else comes, picks it up, and then delivers it to the recipient, usually at a location that is very close to them. So Currently, they are doing it in partnership with um, a filling station. Like the idea now is, you get it to us. So for like for it to actually make sense, you need as many locations mm -hmm. as possible. So um, your usual delivery is that let's say you buy something from an Instagram vendor, and then they have to send the rider. The rider has to tell you, "Oh, I'm coming by ten, and by ten, yes, like gracious experience and delayed us." Um, the person example. comes by 10 and if you are in a meeting by 10 for example you have to step out of that meeting but you with the safe lockers you're basically doing it, doing everything on your terms as a business owner you drop off the parcel or well, it's not only business owners that can use it individuals can as well but you drop off the parcel when you want to um, at your convenience the rider picks it up when of course it has to be picked up um knowing fully well that someone else is ex the recipient is expecting it mm -hmm. at a certain time so it's it's picked up and then the recipient maybe something comes up at the time i initially wanted to pick it and i can't go anymore i don't have to say oh come back i don't have to tell the rider to come back um some other time and i just go um i just go pick it up um when i want to mm -hmm. so to access it you just um, it's so it's internet enabled and leverages in, um, IoT, Internet of Things. So you just go put in a code. You get a code, of course, that you can use to access the lockers. It has the recipient or the person putting in um, the parcel. Same with the drivers, the riders as well. They they get a code with which they can access it. So apparently, they are not the only ones who are doing it. There's a um, in there's, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, they are not the only ones doing that in Nigeria. Um, there's smart parcel dot smart parcel. Um, I think they launched that about six months ago, and it, it basically uses the same, um, the same, what do you call process. it now? The same process, yes. So you just put your product, and then someone else gets it. Um, yeah, that's it. There, I mean, I've seen a few people express concerns around safety, but Fez assures that they they've taken all those things into consideration because. Um, People may worry about their Ooh. parcels being stolen, mm -hmm. so they've they've said yes. We we have put um, put some measures in place to ensure mm -hmm. that your your uh, your deliveries are not missing. I think beyond uh, words, there, sh there should also be insurance. Well, for, for any of those things that will be put in those boxes as an assurance. How, is, how how do you make sure the driver actually dropped it in the box? So dropped it in the, the rider. Of course, yes, um, I the think it's the same. The only the only friction that is taken out is the rider coming to pick up the parcel from you. Mm. So yeah. that's the only thing. I saw you. You take it to this designated point, put it in your box. After you've put all the information on the app, the delivery time and all, then the, the, the delivery person goes to the box, picks it up, and takes it. But under friction, I'm concerned with is that the person that has to take the parcel must also have a box who sorry who has to take the parcel the person that is receiving like the receiver, the receiver yeah. has to have a first safe so it's safe, um, not necessarily it's not like your so that's why i didn't want to use the private PO box skinny it's not like mm -hmm. you have to go buy or a pos for like you don't really have to buy a pos so um, no, like of course security spots not necessarily you don't so if, if you've gone to some um large supermarkets they have like 
those boxes. So you're not paying for it. Mm -hmm. You just put your stuff, whatever your stuff, stuff inside, stuff. and then you go inside. Mm -hmm. um, if it's you occupied, the yeah, you hold the key, of course. If it's mm -hmm. occupied, then you can't. You can't use it. I think that's probably what they are. What they could do. I don't right. need to own it because if I need to own it, um, I it may it, it won't it won't really work if I have to. Um, like if I have to own one, it won't really work because mm -hmm. it now means I'm taking on extra cost. So I don't think you need to own own, own one. You just, just go there, you pick it, and then yeah. So all you just need is the app, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, if you and an account, maybe, maybe we'll start seeing houses like people creating estates with boxes. Like abroad now, estates with apartment buildings have boxes. Everybody in the estate has a box where meals and packages are delivered. So maybe we'll start seeing things like that coming yes, up. People adopt it. I don't, we'll not. I, I, I don't think we would. <laughs> no, yeah. it's, it's, so, okay, depends on mainstream adoption. You get. I mean, even if, with mainstream adoption, if, right? You know, do you, with, are you it, going to see that? But so okay. what for instance now if there's an estate that has a lot of housing units mm -hmm. and f maybe feds has done their groundwork and they see that a lot of people get um deliveries from instagram vendors in that place mm -hmm. right and they have like a one of those um safe locks there um it is possible that they try to target those instagram vendors it's not very it's not sustainable it's not sustainable so first yeah. problem would be what happens when i move or of course you know how, how you said it's move. not there it's not theirs yeah it's not theirs. so what assurance it's do you have that the person who replaces me delivery. or that the people who replace a certain group so it's not like i'll live there for 10 years if i live there for 10 years mm -hmm. maybe it makes sense if all the houses are like they are personally owned not mm -hmm. rented yes that could be that could be something that even if it's helps rented, you. no, the if it's rented, no. Belongs, so imagine this: the boxes belong to first delivery. Yes, yes. So but I'm not if you've made a so here's what they are saying: you know how our house is mm -hmm. now. Imagine that there are like a hundred. Um, let's say there are a hundred apartments on that just there, mm -hmm. and first says okay, fifty people here always make deliveries regular. Uh, they, they they take deliveries regularly. Mm -hmm. They'll put the first location either at the gate or just somewhere very close to us. Mm -hmm. So, why I say it's not sustainable is what happens if maybe 20 of us who make those deliveries move? What are the chances that you move at once? What are, what are the chances? What are the chances? It's very high. People, people, when people rent houses, they don't they don't typically stay except families. What are they the don't chances typically that stay the for a very long time? Yeah, that's that's exactly why I say it's not. not need it. They might also need it. What are the chances that they will need it? Are you <laughs> going to? <laughs> so it's, are you going to yeah. base your your business so strategy just, on something? No, it's not like I'm not saying they should base it. There. They already have like you said they are partnering with a filling station, mm -hmm. right? They already have their locations. I'm just saying that these are this is something they can consider. No, right? I, so yes, you can consider it. What I'm saying is, why would you even bother to consider it? You can't control who lives in a place, but you can control. Okay, so what happens now is, I know that filling stations don't they don't rent. Is either they are leasing or they own the land. Mm -hmm. So you know that if there's an NMPC here, they probably are going to be here for, let's say, the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the infrastructural um, costs... Expenses. In, and, yeah, expenses. You, you see, are not yes. going to be... Oh, okay, I get You are not I going guess, to be doing that very now. frequently. The, so. the cost might not be really um, reasonable for... for mm. fares. Yes, so... Good one um, that you're introducing that we see our we also look out to see um, how time we tell on them on on that on that oh, new way, feature. You, you actually have to pay for it though. So like you subscribe one thousand. They say it's nine hundred ninety nine naira, but it's actually one thousand naira. Yes, that is so. what I mean by owning that means you need your to own. own that means yeah. both sides need to own. Mm. Yes. Well, I don't know if so it's both sides I'm trying yet, to say that yeah, it has to, to be because you to for you pay. to have a key to a PO mm -hmm. box, you have to own it so that you go there and you just check it. It's, really key. Key. About it's not it's really a key. You and need uh, so access it's, access yeah. to it. Let me not say that it might not be a physical key. The access it has to be like in your name until mm. maybe your subscription is over and the ownership changes. So mm. I I I they I'm, I'm sure that they will try to when they launch things like this, you know, you always get feedback from customers and try to retreat. To listen to the full conversation, go to podcast.techpoint.africa. Podcast 
dot techpoint dot africa here's the link you can click on that or go to google podcast apple podcast spotify and anywhere else to get your podcast and search for techpoint africa podcast